find the fourth derivative of y equals negative 5x to the fourth. All right. Well, this is going to use the power rule. Okay. Whenever you have, you know, coefficient exponent uh, variable power rule. Okay. Don't overthink it. The first derivative dy dx is going to be take that 4, multiply it to negative 5, so negative 20, and subtract 1 from that 4, x to the third. That's the power rule. Take your exponent, multiply it to your coefficient if you have one, otherwise bring it out front, and then 4 minus 1, exponent minus 1, there you have it. That's the first derivative. I have to go all the way to the fourth derivative. So d squared y dx squared is going to have me taking the derivative of that guy. Take 3, multiply it to negative 20, gives me negative 60. x to the 3 minus 1 is 2. That's my second derivative. Okay, uh, In real life terms, that's acceleration. But you didn't ask. I just told you anyway. Uh, d cubed y that's supposed to be a 3. It looks awful. dx cubed is the third derivative. Take 2, multiply it to negative 60. So that's negative 120. x to the second minus 1 is going to be x to the invisible first. I'll leave it like that. That's called the jerk. You're a jerk. It's a dance. Look it up. It's great. Now I have to take my fourth and final derivative for this problem. So d to the fourth, y over dx to the fourth. Whenever I'm taking the derivative of something x, the x goes away. Why? Because that's an invisible one. So if you take the one out front, it doesn't change to the negative 120 in any way. 1 minus 1 is 0, so x to the 0 is no more x. So there you have it. Fourth derivative.